I have a cat hair somewhere on my face and it's gonna drive me insane. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Saturday and I just got home from work. I put in a full seven hours at work on Saturday. So when I come home, I'm tired, but I also am very excited because I got my FabFitFun box in the mail and it's a rather large box today. Let me just show you because I did order some add-ons. Their add-ons are always at a hugely discounted price. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember exactly what I ordered because you have to do this like a month before. I do know that I picked up some skincare items because when I was researching the ingredients on these things, some of them looked absolutely phenomenal. So I'm super excited to get into this box and see what I got. I have a cat hair somewhere on my face. And it's going to drive me insane. Just throwing it out there. Let's get my little Hello Kitty cutter. Let's just go over some of the um, add-ons that I did get. And as I said, they were so deeply discounted that I couldn't leave them there. Now, Teamy, as you know, I do have a discount code with Teamy. I don't do their detox teas or anything like that. I'm not about, about to promote something like that that you put into your body. And that's not what I'm about. But their skincare, on the other hand, is really good, I have to say. Because I did research it. I ordered their vitamin C tea infused serum. Now, I ran out of my vitamin C from Sunday Riley, the CEO. And before I went out and bought that, I wanted to try this. This is hibiscus and vitamin C. This does contain a stable form of vitamin C, which is what you want so that it remains effective. And I'm very excited to try this because looking down the line, the first thing is the ascorbic acid, which is of course the vitamin C. And then it has camellia seed oil and hyaluronic acid and everything good that should be in a serum. Now my only concern is that it isn't a clear bottle, but because it is the stable form of vitamin C, I am very curious about why they put it in a clear bottle. But maybe they know different. This does have a citrusy scent to it, a very, very light one. It is a gel type. I have swatches on my hand, I'm sorry. Of course, I stopped at Walgreens because I had to pick up eye drops, and I went and played in the makeup aisle because they now have testers. I didn't buy anything except for one eyeliner, but this feels very nice and very moisturizing on the skin, so I am super excited to try this out. This is a makeup remover, and it's from Love Something. And Soleil, I think. I have no idea. All I know is that it is an oil-based makeup remover. Again, I'm running out of... Oh, it's pink. How cute that is. It, um, it seems very... You know what? It seems quite liquidy, as a matter of fact. It's not quite liquidy. It's extremely liquidy. And it's very thick. It's very, very oily. So I think it will... It warms up. My hand is warming up. All right, that's got to be the coolest thing I've ever felt. Only because I didn't expect it, do you know what I mean? So you can see the oily consistency. I would definitely shake it before you use it, but that's really cool. It was not expensive, so if it takes off my makeup as well as, say, the Clinique Take the Day Off cleanser, I will be extremely happy. And it does leave my skin very, very soft. So I'm so excited about that. I did get a bunch of oils. Not essential oils, but face oils, because I have been enjoying face oils so much. They really make my makeup go on so smoothly. I've been mixing with them with drier foundations for them to be more emollient and go on better. This is the, oh, this is the Mind Tan. This I was very excited to try. This is the Illuminating Luxe Oil. This is a self-tanning oil. You are supposed to add this to either a moisturizer or another serum and spread it over. You can use it on your face and on your body. And so it is just supposed to be a nice self-tanner, but in an oil form. I'm going to try mixing it in with some of my moisturizers and see how that goes on. You're not supposed to use this straight up or else you would probably go through the entire bottle but I love that this is from the better skin company which I hadn't heard of before my FabFitFun this little serum is the anti-pollution serum protect hydrate and renew and it doesn't have the full ingredients on here it did have the ingredients on the website so I'm gonna have to look it up but it does have turmeric eggplant aloe henna and pearl powder 
and I will be using this and trying it out and letting you know my thoughts. Again, it's going to be a month or so before I can actually give you my opinion on the efficacy of these guys. This is from Dr. Rogers. It's called the Restore Healing Balm. And it is, but you can use it on your lips, on your skin, on your cuticles, anywhere that you have dry patches. I seem to have this really dry kind of scaly patch on my elbow here. And I want to try this and see how that works, you know, what how it works for it. And the only ingredients in here are castor seed oil, glycerin, and hydrogenated castor oil and castor oil is good for your hair it's good for your skin it just says apply liberally to dry or damaged skin lips and nails to aid in healing now my nails look like caca at the moment it is one of these that you have to pierce Ooh, hello it has the consistency of neosporin the gel it's very it's thick but not super super thick um, but it definitely feels like you are rubbing something into your nails and hands. And it soaks in very nicely. You need a few seconds to rub it in, though, I'll tell you that. it To me, it has a little bit less of a thicker texture than straight-up lanolin does. But absorbed. And wow, that feels really, really nice. I'm going to try that as a lip mask tonight and see how it compares to my Laneige. This is this company, A90291, which is a California-based company. It's called 10 Degrees Cooler. It's the Midnight in Corsica Face Oil. This is like the other oil that was $195. I think I paid many, maybe $20 for this. This has incredible ingredients. The first ingredient is marula oil, which is excellent for your skin. Camellia, jojoba, safflower. All of these amazing ingredients that are excellent for your skin. Oh, look at this. And I'm assuming this is the night oil. Let's see what the scent is. I would never pay $195 or $125, whatever the cost of this is, for it. But, oh, it has a really nice scent. It has a bit of an organic scent. It reminds me a little bit of the, the Luna sleeping oil that... Just organic herby type scent. This is organic, by the way, and it is made in the USA in California. This has such amazing ingredients. I'm so excited for that. And the last add-on I got is the, again, from the same company, but it is the Reviving Eye Serum. And with amazing ingredients, prickly pear, camellia, amaranth seed oil, which I don't know too much about, but it is a good oil from what I understand, grape seed oil, marula, carrot. This looks amazing. No denatured alcohol. Of course, it does come with this. The packaging on this brand is beautiful. And it is a nice serum. Let's try this on my hand. I've been using eye oils lately. Oh, this is really nice. Again, it of course has that organic smell. It's just the scent of the natural oils that are in here. Now let's get into my box. That was a lot of add-ons. So this is a great box. They always do such a beautiful job with the outside packaging, gearing it towards the season that they're doing. And by the way, if you're interested in hearing Adam 12, it's on the TV downstairs. And this on here on the outside, it says, in support of Global Gift Foundation, um, and the Eva Longoria, oh, I think it's the Eva Longoria Foundation, Girls and Action Alliance with Eva Longoria. Anything that su supports a charity, that supports women or at people in need, I absolutely love. Here's the box. And of course, they do have Eva Longoria on the cover. This is a great magazine in here. They will give you a bunch of interesting information. And they will also tell you all of the products that we got inside. Now, I recently have... I didn't recently have to. I recently upgraded to a yearly subscription, so it cost me a little bit less. I did have to lay it out up front, but each box cost me a little bit less. If you don't know about this box, by the way, which I should have started off with, logically, you would think, I just got so excited that I just jumped right on into it. FabFitFun is a quarterly subscription that costs $49.95 a month. Of course, if you do sign up for the yearly subscription, you get some benefits over the month or the quarter to quarter subscription users, wherein you get to choose um, your add-on items sooner and you get more of a selection of them. 
it's a lifestyle, hair care, or skin care, exercise, you know, fitness. Yeah, no, fitness and exercise do go together. But it is an all-around cool box. They also put makeup items in there too, and they do have skincare, as you can see. It's a box that I've been getting. This is going, this will be my second year, I think, come this January. And this is one of my favorite boxes. I absolutely love it. I love that it's quarterly, so it's not an overload of stuff, and it's absolutely fabulous. Now, getting back into the box. In oh, I just got attacked by a cat. In here, they're giving you a card that is going to give you $15 off. I think my discount code, if you use my, because I am a FabFitFun affiliate, I think it's only $10 off, so I'll probably leave this code for you because it'll give you a better discount. If you guys don't use my code or sign up through me, it's it's totally fine. I'd rather you save more money than me get, you know, a commission. And it's not really a commission. I'm just getting money off of my next box, essentially. They don't send me anything for free. I'm not one of those that they send me the box for free. Just got an affiliate doesn't mean really anything at this point. This is from Jennifer Zuner Jewelry. It comes in a pretty, oh, it's a, like a velvety, it's like a velvety bag. I love that. I did make some choices for this box. The only thing I remember is I remembered um, some bum bum cream because I was able to get it like, you know, it was one of my add-ons. No, it wasn't an add-on. It was part of the selection, so. Oh, how pretty. Let me hold this up real close for you. It's a necklace, and it's got these two little stars. So it's going to be, it looks like it's a longer necklace, so it's probably going to sit down here with the two stars. You know what? I'm going to probably try it on. Why not? Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love that. I've been loving delicate jewelry. I have a tendency not to change my necklaces too much. If they're solid gold, I wear them in the shower because I'm lazy, as I said. But these, of course, you have to take off. So it kind of encourages me to actually change my jewelry around occasionally. So I love this. Perfect length. It's gorgeous. Absolutely adore it. This, my friends, was one of the options. And you know I do not pay full price for this stuff. So to get it in my box that I'm paying $50 for and getting a whole bunch of other stuff, you know I jumped on it. And I know this went very, very quickly, which is why I'm very glad that I signed up for the yearly subscription. So I think this is the $10 version or maybe the $20 version. I'm honestly not sure of the Boom Boom Cream. And then I hadn't tried this before, but I've heard amazing things about it. And this is a full size of the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Supposedly, it smells just like like the Boom Boom Cream. Yes. Yes, it does. Again, this is $45. I would never in my lifetime pay $45 for a shower gel. That's just not me. I am not that bougie. But to get it in this box is a fabulous thing. By the way, for this jewelry, it does say contact with water, sweat, and what else? Lotions and perfume will tarnish the jewelry. It is just costume jewelry. So if you did get this, be very mindful. Like, but, you know, I sweat in the summer, so I don't know how much I'll be wearing this because I sweat a lot. Okay, this says that it is Truffle Therapy Cleansing Oil. Now, I don't know if this is for the body or for the face, but let's find out. Now, this is very interesting. It says you put it on your face using a cotton pad. And it says to use and run in a circular motion until all amounts of makeup are, re, you know, removed. And then you have to rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water, patch your face dry, whatever. That's very interesting. So basically you're just rinsing off this and you're not actually washing your face. And it says to shake vigorously. Is that vigorous enough? This is very, very interesting. I'll be excited to try this and let you guys know. I'm used to, you know, sudsing up or using cleansing oil first. So I don't know that I have... I'm going to be very excited to try this and see how well it works. Okay, what is this? This is the Generation Clay Brightening Purple Clay Mask, Ultraviolet. It says it refines, it brightens, it illuminates, and it nurtures. It has some very good clays in it, which are very oil absorbing. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to like this because I think this is made for oily skin because it has kaolin, it has bentonite, bentonite, has glycerin for moisture, really good ingredients. But again, this is more of like an oil absorbing, clarifying type of mask. So I may not open this, but like the bentonite clay and the, um, can't, I can't speak. The kaolin are like right up front. Moving on. Okay, so we did get a pack of Invisibobbles, which honestly don't work very well in my hair. I have a couple, 
and and they're they're meh. Do you know what I mean? They're not my favorite thing. I'm not sure what I'll do with this. Maybe I'll put them in a giveaway. Maybe I'll give them to my niece. I'm not sure. But I mean, they're cute, and these are for some reason stupidly expensive. Well, this is a telephone cord. <laughs> But nonetheless, I think it's cute that they put them in. I said some items I didn't choose, um, they just put in my box. So, okay, this is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. It says it contains 70% organic ingredients, and it does have a, oh, this, this is cool. This is a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. It is a setting spray with a sunscreen in it. I think that is the most fabulous invention I have ever heard of. This has cucumber extract, algae extract. Of course, it is going to have um, the three sunscreens in here, which of course you want since it is a scun screen. <laughs> sunscreen. I am going to be so thrilled because I do hate having to layer on my sunscreen. It's kind of a pain in the tuchus. This is fabulous. I am so happy to have that. This is, wow, I am inundated with setting sprays. This is the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray, Hydrating Rose Facial Spray. I have so many setting sprays right now. No denatured alcohol. Thank you, Grace and Stella. No denatured alcohol. It has um, aloe, leaf, water, rose, rose flower extract, glycerin, hamillus extract, Castor oil, hydrogenated castor, no, ca hydrogenated castor oil. This looks amazing. I'm not going to open it yet. I have, I have literally so many. I, I can't even tell you. But I do use them. You know what I mean? I just, I like switching up between all of them, so I don't use just one up. This is the Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask. Ooh, with intense hydration, smooths and softens. Paraben free, sulfate free, everything freaking free. It's cruelty free. I don't think this one is one of those peeling masks, but I think it might just be exfoliating. Use daily at bedtime. Apply liberally to desired area and let dry. Go to bed. I always put socks on when I use these types of things. And awake with softer feet. And you're supposed to rinse after 8 to 12 hours. So I guess you go to sleep, you wake up, and in the morning when you take your shower, you're rinsing it off. I'll be very excited to try this and see what it actually does. Wish actually has some good products. I enjoy their face wash and I also dry. No, I don't dry it. <laughs> I use their face mask as well. The last thing in my box is this, which looks really cool. Summer and Rose is featured a lot in their boxes. They're an accessory, handbag, scars, blankets, towels type of company. I think they're very, very overpriced. Like it's some, you know, I wouldn't go in normally and pay $50 for like a beach towel and things like that. But they do have nice products. And this is a really, really pretty beach bag. It's totally summery. It has the rope handle, which is very thick. There we go, I just pulled it out. This is an awesome tote bag. I would, don't know if I would use this for my groceries or anything like that, even though, because it doesn't have a waterproof lining, but I would use this. I don't go to the beach. I don't go anywhere during the summer or anything. So, But just to carry stuff around, um, for those who stay overnight, it would make a nice overnight bag. It does have one pocket in here. Not a very big pocket, maybe just for your keys. And it also has a magnetized snap closure as well. I think this is beautiful. It's a canvassy material. Very summer, very pretty. Absolutely love it. Now let's read our magazine. They did it a little bit differently. Normally it's kind of like spread out a bit. I'm just looking to make sure my card's not getting full. Okay. And they just have everything listed here instead of the other way that they've done it, which is fine. So what's in the box? Could have gotten a blow dryer which I'm kind of glad I didn't get because I, I have a blow dryer and I really don't need another one. Could have gotten a lotus towel. This is what I got, which is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream and the Moisturizing Shower Gel. And that combo has a value of $45, which is almost the box in itself. You also could have gotten a kimono, which I'll, again, I'm glad I did not get because that's not something I would use. You could have gotten a set of the 111 skin, which we did get items from the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask, a set of five. That, that had a value of $160. What? 
Would you ever pay $160 for five sheet masks? Yeah, no. You also could have gotten a set of West, West Elm, which is a really nice furniture and accessories company, tie-dye bowls. I really don't have use anything fancy for my kitchen. I don't have the room for it. Here is the Summer and Rose Indigo Tie-Dye, no, yeah, the Summer and Rose Navy Diamond Tote. See, that's $50. If I was in a store, I would never, ever pay $50 for it, but I'm super glad I have it because it's beautiful, and I will definitely use it. It is 100% cotton, which is really nice. It features the rope handles and a snap closure for easy carrying. Plus, it's big enough to hold your towel, cover up SPF, and then some. If you're going to the beach, I think that's awesome. Oh, how cute. You also could have gotten a little um, Sienna, XO Sienna black felt letter board. Like, you know, if you wanted to hang for decorations. Again, I don't have much room for that type of thing. I've gotten these before. You could have gotten the burn resistance bands. I have those and I use them. They're exercise bands. I did get the Jennifer um, Zuner star double necklace. See, this has a value of $50. Again, I wouldn't pay $50 for costume jewelry, but I'm so glad to have it in the box so that I can try it and enjoy it. But it says that it has a value of $50. This is cute. You could have gotten a set of Otome, what a pair of sil two silicone wine glasses. <laughs> silicone wine glass, at least you know you won't uh, break them if you drop them and, you know, have a little bit too much wine. That's kind of cute. And they look, they come in like a little pouch and everything. Could have gotten an Ico liquid liner, which again has a value. I, I do that in quotes because I don't think it's valued at $22. But that was something. The Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream, which does not work for my hair. It kind of leaves my hair more frizzy than it started. Could have gotten a mystery item. What could it be? A palette, trigger ball, or maybe a primer. We love a good mystery and we promise it's a good one. I didn't get that, so I don't know. And then the Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm, which I did get, and that is a value of $30. $30 for, where is it? Hold on. $30 for this little guy. Multi-masking, multi tasking at its finest. The all-natural balm soothes and heals dry or damaged skin. Use it to relieve sunburn. Oh, you can use it on scrapes, post-procedure skin, and more. This will be fabulous to use after I microneedle. That is an excellent idea and use for it. Yay. So in every box, I'll tell you what um, all members got in their box. It's in blue. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. So I think those were just kind of the options. The peach... In Peach, which is all of these things, were all members got a chance to customize these options. Okay, so all the members did get to choose the Boom Boom Cream, but it probably sold out very quickly. In the blue, which I didn't get to that yet, is going to be what everybody got in their box. And in the yellow is the select members got to customize these options. And if you don't customize, then FabFitFun chooses it. That would have been the Mystery, the Restore Cream, the Living Proof liner, and that's it on those. So I think I probably chose the Restore, which is the, the healing balm, but I don't remember. Let's get to what everybody got in the box. Nope. I'm sorry, guys. It's confusing. Let's get to the 5B and the 5C over here are two more of the select members' items. The 5B is the Kula, which I probably chose. And then the other item was the Intellect Nutrients Refining Micro Polish. What I got was the Kula Sunscreen Spray, and that is $36. So you can use it as a setting spray, I said, and it also has the SPF. So one of those. And then here's what everybody got. Everybody got an Invisibobble. Okay. Everybody got the Generation Clay Mask which is $39 for the Generation Clay Mask, which is this little guy. The Invisibobbles, by the way, are $16, which again, that's so much money for me. Everybody got the Grace and Stella Spray, which is $25.95. So everybody <laughs> got the Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask. You got to admit, guys, 
that is a lot of products in the box for $50. Here's the thing, you have to decide whether these items are valuable to you, whether you'll use them, whether you will enjoy them, and if this box is fitting for you. For me, it's completely worth it. I'm so happy and thrilled with absolutely every item that I got. Sometimes I'm like, meh, you know, but for me personally, and this is just me, because everyone is going to have their own opinion and their own uses for things, I found this box absolutely amazing. I have so many new products to try and let you guys know whether they're good. The ingredients in their skincare that they offer is amazing, and you know how I feel about ingredients. The rest of the magazine is going to tell you how to use the products. They'll give you information. They have a whole spread on Eva Longoria and her charity that she has. I'm excited. I enjoy reading this and going through everything and learning about the products. Let me know. I know this is a long video, guys. Let me know if you get this, what you got, and what you think of what I got. What do you think of the value of it for $50 every quarter? I'm blown away. This is, I don't know whether it's the most fabulous box I've ever gotten, but I think it is a darn really close to being the absolutely most fabulous box. So that is it, my friends. I am surrounded by things that I need to clean up at this point. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you spending your time with me, watching, commenting, liking. It means, you know, I tell you, it means the absolute world to me. You guys are the most amazing people in the world, and I love you tremendously. And whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week. And if you like me and you like the video, thumbs up, please, because it helps my video get shown to the rest of YouTube. So that is it, my friends. I will see you very soon in my next video. Much, much love, everybody. Bye.